Come on through, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all come on through. It's indescribable, man, that the Carolina and Duke rap. Ain't that right, brothers? Yep. Talk some sense into that, man. I'm trying to tell I, him I, I'm trying to win him over. He won't believe me. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm but a diehard Duke fan. Words, words can't, ain't enough words, man, to describe this rivalry, man. I wouldn't say that it's hatred. It's just, it's like sibling rivalry. Oh, that, that's pure hatred. That's pure hatred. Look at that. I hate you. Oh. Big Duke, come on, buddy. I'm going in the bathroom and cry tears big as horse turds. That's right. Thank you, buddy. I love that clip. Get that boy on TV. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs>Hey, Mikey here with Vice Sports. Uh, we just had some delicious barbecue. We saw a crazy bird, but that's not why we're here. Woo! We're here to cover the most insane rivalry in all sports, Duke versus UNC. This will be the 240th time these teams have played each other, which is kind of nuts. Oh, man, look at that tall hill. We got a tall hill stuck on top of his That's head. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is Tobacco Road, and Duke and Carolina, it's just like Fraser and Ali. It's the killing of Manila. This is the biggest thing happening in Carolina. It's the Super Bowl of college basketball. Now, I've been looking for this game ever since I was a little boy. I wanted to come to Franklin Street to experience this here. So we left earlier this morning. We've been playing this for a month. So here we are at Four Corners Grill, a true Chapel Hill tradition for three decades and mainstay for UNC fans. So I'm sitting here with these two big guys. Tell us about the rivalry. What's, what's up with the hate and the history? I don't really think it's a whole lot of hate. I think it's just a whole lot of respect for both programs. It goes all the way back to the 60s. The rivalry between UNC and Duke is like, it's a historic event. Larry Brown was playing in Carolina and a guy by the name of Art Hyman. Art Hyman, yep. And they were childhood friends. He went to Duke, Brown came to Carolina. They were playing in the game. Hyman takes out Brown, both pitches empty, and it's been like that ever since. Here we go, Tar Hill. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Here we go, Tar Hill. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. They just, I don't believe they long. They just too old. Not surprised to see that fans young and old are here to watch the battle. <laughs> what happens if you lose? We're not gonna lose. Not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. Not gonna lose. No, we're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. <laughs> All right, Chapel Hill, we're out. We're out to Durham. Check out the Duke fans. Let's see what's up. It's a 15 minute drive along Tobacco Road to get from Chapel Hill to Durham. Here we are at Divine's, one of the top Duke bars in Durham since 1978, owned by a former Duke football player. I mean, you're in the South. We, we are intense basketball fans. It's Duke, it's UNC, it's NC State. And you know what? They're all good. And they're all scrapping and trying to win. Every year, one of them's going to come out on top. Divines, it's kind of tame in here. People are stressed. Duke's losing. So, it's over. Uh, Duke won. Yeah, Duke! Woo! Yeah! Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell! Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell! Go to hell, go to hell! Do it! I thought we won both games. I thought we won both games. UNC is a public school. Duke is a private school. So maybe that explains why Chapel Hill was so much fun? So what's gonna happen after tonight? Like, are you guys gonna go party somewhere? What's, what, what happens here when you guys win? Go celebrate. Uh, we're going to set some shit on so fire. Set shit on fire. Three years ago, sitting in the middle of the intersection, and somebody threw a couch out there and set it on fire after Duke win, and it was sick, and it was a lot of fun. So Duke won the game, but the scene in Chapel Hill won the night. So let's call it even. So we're going to laugh and joke, and I hope Duke go down, but we still going to be my brother at the end of the night. At the end of the night.